it's Megan happy Friday I haven't seen you in so long it's so sad I didn't I really didn't feel like filming this week at all and I think I posted like one video or something I don't know I just haven't been in the mood to film but today I really wanted to talk to you guys I have a whole list of stuff to talk about basically none of it is makeup because I don't know I just haven't really been super into makeup lately I guess um and I've been really like right now I'm barely wearing anything I'm gonna okay so I have so much to talk about I'll just jump, jump into this first so one of my subscribers oh my god so sweetly offered to get me samples of the Shantikai Just Skin Titan Moisturizer and her name is Julianne and oh my god Julianne I am so freaking appreciative and I don't know where your note is now oh wait it's right here oh my god you wrote me the sweetest note ever and I really just appreciate you taking your time to go out and get these for me it was so so generous of you and I really really appreciate it so she got me um two colors which was awesome she got me alabaster and bliss in these really awesome little jars so actually they're very very similar I've been wearing alabaster this week so this is alabaster and this is bliss and honestly I can't really see too big of a difference um but I'm wearing it now and it's very very sheer which is what I expected so um I really love the texture it's like thicker than like my um Josie Marin tinted moisturizer this is very th thin and these are nice and like creamy and I really am enjoying those so she got me those which oh my gosh I like did I like spill it or something now it's all over the place how typical um and then she also picked up this Shantikai Petals um perfume sample and honestly I am not a huge fan of this which is fine I'm probably gonna have my mom smell it and see if she likes it it's very very floral which sometimes actually I pretty much never really like floral um but this is a super fancy perfume and it is oh my gosh it's like so cute but I'm gonna see if my mom wants that and look at this bottle of it like that's the full size how fancy is that so that was really cool to like smell it I've never smelled such a fancy perfume before so that was cool to at least try it then oh my god I couldn't believe this she got me another sample of the Amaro Vixa Queen of Hungary mist and you guys know I was so confused on if I like this or not I knew that I love the smell so I'm really excited to be able to try this again that was such a surprise and I'm so grateful for that and she wrapped all this stuff in muslin cloths and these are so nice like I don't know what company these are from but they're like nice and big and they're extremely extremely soft so now I have two of these which is awesome and Oh, I just love these. Julianne, if you can comment like where you specifically got those, that would be really awesome. And then the last thing that was a surprise is so amazing. This is called the New Love Goat Milk Lotion, handmade in the Texas Hill Country, and it's the coconut scent. And this is amazing. It combines two of my favorite things, goat milk cream and coconut scent. It is amazing. The website is www.nuluvgoatmilkproducts.com. Hopefully it'll focus. And this seriously smells incredible. I only use it on my arms and it looks like I didn't even use it at all. It's amazing and it has only the like least amount of ingredients, which I love. So um, this is just so cool. I would have never been introduced to that product other than if someone sent it to me like it it seems kind of like a niche thing but I'm so so excited so thank you so much Julianne I appreciate it so much and I'm gonna keep your letter forever because it was just so so sweet so thank you so so much but I'm gonna tell you guys how those things go um which is why I wanted to mention them and since I am wearing the just skin but it really just is what I expected it's just a very light coverage barely anything but makes your skin look nice and I am really really enjoying it so um 
I was unsure whether to buy the full size or not because I didn't know if I would like it and I really love it. It doesn't make me look too glowy. It's just, I've had this on since this morning. It's like noon now and it just looks like skin. So just skin, hello. Also, let me get the makeup stuff out of the way. Still so obsessed with this um, Tintin oil from Yves Saint Laurent. This is my second sample and I like clean this out. I'm wearing just a little bit that was left. Um, this is in number five, Cherry My Cherie. I'm obsessed with that and I'm going to get that, um, buy it for myself in July once my makeup no buy is over and I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful product and I used it in my Get Ready With Me from last Sunday and I'll have that link down below so you guys can see it in action but it's gorgeous it feels amazing I like tints your lips it is amazing I love it and also this week okay I really only use this one day that's why I didn't really have stuff to talk about I just started using like interesting stuff yesterday and I don't think that's very fair but for some reason I have really wanted to use my Anastasia dip brow pomade which I haven't used in months um I've hit pan on it like many many moons ago um but for some reason I've just really wanted to use this so I didn't have time to do it today which is something I want to talk about for those of you who I know everyone has went through this but once you go from like college or like high school or whatever and then to a job like a full-time position how long did it take you to get used to that schedule? I am not a morning person by any, any stretch of the imagination. Like, I would plan my classes in college to not start before, like, 11 a.m. So, to have my job now start at 8 a.m., Monday through Friday, it's very, very difficult for me. And, um... I keep hoping that I'm going to get used to it and I mean I've only been at this position for like a month and a few weeks so I I am hoping that in a few months I'll be used to it or maybe a year or something. I just hope that one day I get used to it and maybe I'll never get used to it. I don't know but if you have any like feedback or like experience with that, how long did it take you to get used to getting up early, especially if you're not a morning person. Like, I envy people who will get up extra early and exercise before work. Like, I can't even imagine it. Like, it, in my mind, I'm like, oh yeah, I would love to do that. But in reality, that would never happen in a million zillion years, like ever. And um, my running, okay, so I've been 100% slacking on running, um, but I wanted to tell you guys about this app that a bunch of you told me about. It's called Couch to 5K, and I have an Android phone, and I could download it, and I'm pretty sure Apple products can do it too, but um, so I guess I can show you guys on my phone. I want, for some reason, I really want to do a video on the apps that I have. I have no idea why. I have never been like a person that wanted to do that, but for some reason I want to. Um, so this is what like the interface looks like. Whenever I show my phone up on my camera, you can never really see. So hopefully you can kind of see, but it's called Couch to 5K. And basically, so I haven't even started it, but I wanted to tell you guys about it who are like me and you want to start running, but you're at like negative five on the like exercise scale. So what it is, is a 30 minute, well, at least for the first few weeks, a 30 minute workout um, for three days a week, which I think is so reasonable like those expectations are very very reasonable for me and like I can I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it Monday Wednesday Friday I really want to do it today after work um just do the 30 minute um run then walk thing I think that that would be really awesome I wanted to do it on Wednesday but I I like had a bad day on Wednesday so I didn't want to do it um which I know is no excuse and I I am hoping, I keep hoping so many things, but I'm hoping that once I start doing it and I realize like how good it feels to exercise and be outside and run that it won't, I'll want to do it on my bad days. Like, you know what I mean? So 
right now I'm kind of like pushing it off and not doing it but I'm really excited to use that app and a bunch of you guys like Peachy and I think Maria told me about it um, that it really really worked for them so I'm so excited about that and it was a dollar ninety nine but for me that was a very worthwhile investment to get something that will hopefully help me like Peachy said build up my stamina and endurance and really I never exercise so I need something that will ease me into it and I think this will be awesome also, I want to get one of those like arm bands. Like I see a bunch of people when they exercise, they have those bands that you can like put your phone in and then like listen to music or whatever. I really want to get one of those. So I don't know if they are all made the same. Like if I just go to Target and buy the cheapest one, is that okay? Or is there like a really good one or something? And I don't have that big of a phone. Like I have a weird, I use Virgin Mobile, which is like I know no one uses it, but it's seriously the best ever. Like, it's $40 a month for unlimited data, text, phone, like, not unlimited phone calls, but a plenty for me. So, um, I know I'm, like, the weirdo that uses Virgin Mobile, but it's awesome. But I have this, like, weird no-name Android phone. So, it's not, like, I don't know if I can get one that exactly fits it. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyhow, let me know about that. Okay, this is staring at me, so I'm gonna talk about this. Guess what I found? My Snickers Rockin' Nut Road Bars, and look how many I found. I have a whole freaking CVS bag full of them. So, I'll tell you guys where I found them. First, I found them at my CVS. I'm pretty sure Courtney told me that you might have seen them at CVS. You've also told me to check out Sheets, and I will. I just don't have any on, like, near my house. So I found them at CVS, and it was nuts, you guys. So they were like, buy one, get one for 25 cents. And then for of some magical way I don't know if I had like points in my system or like what was going on but I got four for 250 so I got that deal four for 250 and then I went back again I had a five dollar extra buck so I got eight for originally five dollars but I had the five dollar extra buck so I got them for free and then I also found them last weekend um on Saturday I was in Philly and Jacob and I spent the whole day together it was so nice and he graduated on last Friday so we were just catching up and I don't get to see him as much which is so sad because he's like my brother basically um and we went to this weird family dollar by where he lives because he's gluten-free and he's not gluten-free but he eats gluten-free <laughs> and he really likes this one type of candy and like the only place that sells it is this weird family dollar and wouldn't you know it, they had my candy bars too. But okay, this is going to sound gross. They had dust on them <laughs> because no one buys them. So I tried to pick the least dusty ones and they weren't expired. I checked that. Um, but yeah, some of them had dust on them, but it was on the wrapper, not on the candy. Hello. And they were pretty cheap too. So now I have my stockpile back of my Snickers Rockin' Nut Road and... I'm gonna, like, I am only gonna try to eat, like, one a week or, like, something like that. Because, first of all, I'm trying to get into shape. Second of all, I need to savor them as long as I possibly can. So that I had to tell you guys because I know I was asking if you knew where to get them. But those are the shit, you guys. They taste like s'mores. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna go on my list and see what I can talk about. Oh my god. So for those of you who uh, have been following me for a while, know that I was in a car accident, man, it's like so long ago at this point, in the summer of 2011. So it's been like four years basically. And um, it's like, it was like the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. It just led to so many other problems. And it's, I was the one that was most hurt in the accident. I had broken bones and blah 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 but um the most like lasting things for me were that I I was in the back passenger seat we were t-boned and a bunch of glass went in my face and also on my shoulders so I have like weird scars on my shoulders from the glass um and over the past few years I had been getting laser revision for my scars I'm done with that now and you really can't tell that I had that problem 
but there are some pieces still at this in this part of my chin that are the glass is like so deep in my face I actually went and got surgery to get some pieces out and I really wanted these certain ones that are like really deep that I can still feel but you can't see but they're so deep in there that it's it's too dangerous to do it when it's not a necessary procedure. So I was just like, whatever, that's fine, I'll just deal with it. But now I feel it's like a very small piece. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. I, th this hasn't been until like this week that I feel it, but I'm pretty sure a really small piece of glass is has come to the surface and it's just totally freaking me out and it's weird because I never really think about the accident anymore like it's it's something that happened to me that I have to live with and like I have these scars but whatever and now it's just like I call it the shit in my face because it is so annoying and I thought I got all the shit out of my face but there's another piece so I don't know oh you can see it it's that little dot Oh my god, it's so annoying. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. Um, usually it'll just come because it's like an extraterrestrial object in your body. So like slowly it'll like not suppress it, but like um, have it come out. I forget the word. There was a word I used before, um, but it like comes to the surface eventually. So once it like fully comes to the surface, I can probably like squeeze it out, which I've done before, which is totally creepy to do that to yourself, but like whatever. Okay, I have been so into clothing lately. I will go in like waves and lulls of if I'm into clothes or not. You wouldn't be able to tell right now because it's casual Friday and I'm very low key. But I have been so, so into clothing lately, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should, Megfish8, um, you saw pictures that I redid my drawers, my t-shirt drawers. I also went through my closet, all my clothes, um, and I've donated like a bunch of stuff, and I went through my purses, and I need to do my shoes and some other stuff. I didn't film it because, like I said, I really haven't been feeling like filming. Um, and I know that you guys really like seeing those videos, but I just really didn't want to do it. So anyhow, I went through it and I organized my t-shirts and I'm really happy about it, but I realized, okay, so this is going into a bunch of different things, but the one thing I really, okay, there's a few things that I really need. One are tank tops. Okay. What is your favorite tank top? Where do you buy it? Like, my biggest thing, the biggest problem in my life, the biggest stupid problem in my life is getting white tank tops and white t-shirts that are not transparent. Like I want an opaque white short sleeve v-neck. Is that so much to ask? Like seriously. I also really want v-neck tank tops. Either like the what is that called? Like this, um, what is it called? Like with the lines, I know there's a word for it. I can't remember it, but like the ribbed, ribbed, ribbed tank tops or just like a plain cotton material tank tops. I want a v-neck. I'm obsessed with v-necks. V-necks are the most flattering cut on myself in my personal opinion. And that's really what matters. Um, so if you know of opaque white t-shirts, or, and or v-neck tank tops or just your favorite tank tops in general it can be a scoop neck that's fine if you know of those please let me know because though the those i used to live in kentucky so sometimes the accent comes out and it really catches me off guard <laughs> it's really weird um but those are the things that i really have been missing also shorts okay so up until this point i haven't given a crap about if i wear really like slutty I guess you would say shorts but now I have a job I feel like I'm more I'm more mature I don't want to dress that way anymore I don't want to wear like ripped shorts all the time do you have a favorite brand or style of shorts that are cute and like flattering and keep you cool in the summer but are more mature or like just more tasteful I guess would be the word I want denim 
and I don't mind if they're like a little like frayed or I really like like the cuffed shorts I really like that but everything is so freaking short and I know they're called shorts but you guys have to agree with me things have just been getting shorter and shorter these years like over the past few years and I can't deal I can't do it anymore so also ones that are a little like higher waisted because I carry my weight in my middle section like I my hips and my stomach and so I really like things that go up above my hips so then I don't have the muffin top action going on so um I know I have a tall order but if you have the same type of body like you're slim but you carry your weight in your hips and your stomach um and you don't wear shorts that are too short please let me know your favorites because I really I don't even know where to begin because I've always bought my shorts from American Eagle and I tried to look there and all the ones that I like the style of they're too short so I don't know just help me if you can is that a movie catch me if you can that's the movie also I've been so obsessed with necklines and cool backs of shirts so basically I want everything in my wardrobe to have a cool back to it or like a cool neckline or something like I am obsessed with it right now and I'm so excited I'm gonna have a really exciting haul coming up maybe next week or next weekend or something like that it's just like a mishmash of a bunch of stuff and some of it are clothing items which I'm so excited about but I've been like you guys know with my makeup like evolution I guess you would say I'm buying way way less inexpensive stuff and buying way fewer more expensive stuff that's how I'm getting in clothing as well I'd rather have something like a few really really nice things that I really really love then have a bunch of stuff that I have to basically throw out every year so and re replenish so um I one thing that I really love but I'm not gonna buy it because it's not like I need it but it's this Diane von Furstenberg jumpsuit it's her Ireland jumpsuit and it has the most interesting back ever it's just like like so here's your back <laughs> And it just has like two pieces down here and then it connects and is like the pants So it's like a halter and then it's like a big opening in the back. I'll I'll link it down below so you guys can see But it's just really cool. And so that kind of like back the back designs I really like and I've also been trying to find a bathing suit for this summer and I don't know if anyone else has noticed this or if it's just like what the people that I watch or like follow or whatever but one piece bathing suits are really coming back like I'm not sure if I'm just behind the times and they have been back for a while but I used to think that one piece bathing suits were like only for when you were like a little kid and that was like it or like you were an old lady or something but now they make really really cute one piece bathing suits and there's this one I really am obsessed with that I might order from Badgley Mishka is that how you say it I I've only ever had to type it I've never had to say it out loud but they sell it at Nordstrom and right now it's on sale and it's this super awesome it's a sexy one piece like it's so cool it's like a really deep cut um v shape and then it has like ruching where you would most want it in the middle section and then it has a really cool open back so I might order that today because I just want a really like nice and flattering bathing suit I always feel so self-conscious in bathing suits which I'm sure most people do um but I don't know have you noticed that one piece bathing suits are like coming back with full force or am I really behind the times or have you not even noticed that I just have been noticing it recently maybe it's because I'm in the market for a bathing suit but there are some actually really cute one pieces and I am so surprised but I think it might be hard I'm not sure but I'm wondering if it'll be hard for me because I have a long torso so sometimes like whenever I've tried one piece bathing suits maybe I've gotten the wrong size I don't know they have been too like short so I'm like oh and like you know it's not I would never wear it so I'm hoping that in adult sizes it's not that way I don't know 
I have so many problems, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, one-piece bathing suits. Do you know any cute ones? Like, I don't know. I just really want a good one. Oh my god, this is intense. So, sorry, I'm like really thirsty because I'm wearing a like sweatshirt, but it's like 75 degrees outside. I don't know. Oh, and I forgot to turn on my fan. That's also my problem. Hey, what time is it? Okay, so... Tomorrow I'm going to Baltimore just for the day and I have to wake up ungodly early. Like, <laughs> I have to wake up earlier than I have to wake up for work. It sucks, but one of my friends is graduating and he is still at Loyola. So me and my college friends are gonna meet up and go to his graduation and then hang out for the day, which I'm super excited about. But it's so weird at the same time because it has been almost exactly a year since I graduated. I graduated on May 17th of 2014, and it's just gonna be so weird to go to lo the Loyola graduation, but not be graduating and to be a year since my graduation. It's just crazy. I can't wrap my mind around it like at all, and it's really exciting to be a year since graduation but I miss college so much like I don't know if I miss I do miss college but mostly I miss seeing the people that I lived with and I saw like every day in college it's just so weird to go from seeing them all the time to like never seeing them it's really it's really hard but I can't wait to see them and I also got two really good two of my friends got two really pieces what am I even saying? Two of my closest friends got really good news this week. They both got jobs and it's so major. Like anytime anyone gets a job, it's like super exciting, but especially for people who are going to be graduating soon or who graduated a year ago and have been looking, it is just so exciting and I'm so proud of both of them and it's it's just so awesome. It's crazy that I have been at my job for like a little over a month and I don't know, it's just time goes so fast. It's crazy whenever people say that time goes fast, you like get what they're saying but you don't at the same time unless you're their same age. Like when I was younger and adults said like time goes so fast, enjoy your time now. I like knew what they were saying because I thought time went kind of fast but no, time goes so fast. Like, how has it been a year since I graduated? There is no way that that is humanly possible. So, if you are in middle school or high school or college, really, really enjoy all these moments. And if you think time is going fast, you will not even believe how fast time goes a few years from now. It is absolutely insanity. So, um, yeah, and I'm repping Loyola. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I realized that I have like five Loyola sweatshirts, which is insane. Um, so I thought that I would wear one today to rep my alma mater. Okay, I need a haircut so bad. I am dying. As you can see, I just have it pulled back because it's driving me crazy. Last year last summer I believe I had a haircut it was about like this short or something I really want that haircut back I'm gonna take a picture I'm gonna actually go to a hair salon can you believe it you guys I'm gonna take a picture like of a screenshot from one of my videos from around that time when I really liked my hair and um, have them cut it that way and then I also really want to go more purple with my hair. I am pretty sure I'm going to bite the bullet and do it. I want it like, like how I have it now, which you guys can never tell in my videos, but it's like a brown with very strong red undertones. You can tell it so well in the sun or like under certain lightings, but um, since I use natural light, you can never really tell the true like red tones in my hair. Um, but I want to do more brown with purple undertones and then maybe have like more red, red, but with purple, if you know what I'm saying. I hope that I can explain it right. Like I need to find some pictures. I really like the color of shades of Cassie's hair. So I might do, I might bring in a picture of that, but, um, I've wanted to do this for like a year, the purpley hair, and it's not going to be like like a crayon purple like I just want it like brown but with purpley red 
undertones or like whatever you would call it. Um, so I'm really excited about that, but my hair has been driving me crazy. Like I just want to chop it all off, but I really want to go to a hair salon and like, I don't know. I've never got my hair dyed at a hair salon before, so I'm kind of scared, but excited at the same time. Okay. Also, mix CDs. Okay, so two or three weeks ago, my best friend from Bed Bath & Beyond, Zuri, she turned 21, which is obviously such an exciting birthday. And one of the things she really wanted was for me to make her a mix CD because whenever we like drive together places, I, I always have mix CDs and she just, it's, it's really cool that she thinks that they're cool. So she wanted one and since I was so busy, I never had the time to sit down and make her a mix CD in time for her birthday. But this week I finally decided to do it and I had some time and I am just in love with making mix CDs again. I haven't done it in like probably a year. Um, I go in and out of being really into music. Like I'm always into music and I always listen to music, but I am just so like passionate about making mix CDs, but it's not always like I'm making them if, if that makes any sense. Like, when I make them, I am so into it, and I'm so serious and, like, obsessive about it. Like, Zuri's Mix CD took me two days to, first of all, pick the songs, second of all, put them in the right order and make sure that it had the right, like, flow to it. Like, I am so freaking annoying about Mix CDs, but it's just, it's so exciting to me. I love it, and um, when I, like, I can, like, picture how the CD should, like, go. It, like, it has to have a certain flow to it. But um, I just love it. And there's this website, 8 Tracks, the number 8 and then Tracks, um, that I used to use a lot that you can, it's like making mix CDs. Basically, a playlist is like a mix CD or like a mixtape or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can put like playlists or like mix CDs on this website and then other people can listen to it who are also obsessed with like making mixes. So I might start putting mixes on there again because I really enjoyed it, but it kind of is time consuming for myself because I'm so annoying and obsessive about it. So, but anyhow, I've just really been enjoying that and I, I have such a weird taste in music. Like I like rap, I like country, I like rock, pop, electronic basically everything I really enjoy. Most screamo I cannot get into. Like, I just can't do it. Um, but most music I really like. So on my mix CDs, it has a total mixture, hence mix CD, of different stuff. It's very eclectic and it's just really, it's probably a weird mixture of stuff for most people, but for me, I love all of it. So I don't know. If you guys like making mix CDs, please let me know because I have been obsessed with making them since like high school. Like I remember in like ninth grade, I would be making mix CDs all the time and it, I just love it. It's a way that I can document my life and that's very important to me and why I started making videos was also to do that. But mix CDs, like music is just so, I can remember the moment in my life that I listened to certain songs. Like whenever I hear them again after years, I know exactly what time in my life I was obsessed with that song. So. I don't know, maybe no one is like me, but maybe everyone is like me, I don't know. Okay, <sighs> one last thing that I wanna talk about, the Mindy Project. Mostly Fox Network in general. I hate Fox, like I never really had a feeling good or bad towards them, I know some people really don't like their news. I don't really care, I've never thought about them more than once. And now I absolutely hate them and want to scalp them. Like I hate Fox because they have dropped the Mindy Project, worst decision of their lives. Backstrom, horrible for me, horrible for me, because I love that show. They also dropped The Following, which I don't understand. I don't watch that show because it freaks me out, but I know that people are obsessed with The Following. So those are the three shows I know for sure that they've dropped. They've probably dropped way more than I am aware of, but I cannot believe that they dropped The Mindy Project. It is like the best show ever. I am obsessed with Mindy Kaling, like you guys know. 
I love her so much. Her show is perfection. I was watching it yesterday on Hulu and there's like a rumor that Hulu might be picking up the Mindy Project and like keeping it going with the new episodes, which would be amazing. But I just, I do not understand these networks. Like it, the mini project is what confuses me the most. Like Backstrom, I can understand why I guess it didn't get good ratings because they set it up for failure by putting it at the same time as Scandal and The Blacklist. Like people are obviously going to watch those instead of watching a show that they probably also would like, but they're going to watch Scandal more because it's like obsessively obsessive. Um, but like Backstrom, my parents would watch it live, but I would watch it on demand. And so I don't know. I'm just so frustrated and I just can't believe it. But I know that Mindy Kelling will find a way to continue her show because she is amazing and uh, we are just so in love with her show and I don't know why Fox doesn't understand. I just don't get it. So that is everything I wanted to talk about. I've been talking for like ever. What time is it even? Oh yeah, I really have to go. Um, so I think that's it you guys but I loved catching up with you. I know that this mostly was just random shit coming out of my mouth but what else is new and yeah so I hope you guys have a wonderful start to your weekend. I won't see you tomorrow on Saturday because my day is going to be cray cray and really long um but maybe on Sunday I'll want to film. If not I'm not going to force myself to. But I hope to see you guys really soon and I just really enjoyed catching up with you guys and rambling about stuff, which I just love to do. But I really, really appreciate your time. I cannot say it enough. I appreciate every second that you guys watch of me. And if you take the time to comment, it is incredible to me that you would do that and my subscribers are amazing and my Instagram followers are amazing and just all of you are amazing who are watching this who have made it this far into this video. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it and love you guys and that is it. So I will see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching and have a great start to your weekend. Bye.